This is Patty Owens at 105 Carver Street in Lake Wales, Florida, 9 p.m. on August 16th, Thursday. In front of me, you can see we have one of the hemorrhoids. People who think that they are invisible, but wearing an outfit and using technology does not make you invisible. It's an optical illusion. And it's, you know, like most things, it can be unmasked. And uh, it's not real. Right? If we do this, we get to see a little bit of who's behind there. Now, when I've gone outside, they don't actually, they won't interact with me. So you tell me, good people on YouTube. This is a video. And, I mean, I'm filming it at 9 o'clock and I'm going to post it right away. Tell me your thoughts. And what should we do with these people? Antifa, personally, I welcome you. Because that's all these are, are a bunch of little fascist bullies who are trying to make us so miserable that we leave, and if that doesn't work, they've poisoned the land. They've, they've put so much Roundup and other toxins in the ground itself that it's beyond reclamation. And... They are destroying our house from the outside in while we're in it. All day long they're here and they're scraping away. And it's not that I'm letting them get away with it. It's that we have no law enforcement here because we are not in the city of Lake Wales proper. So we don't get the benefit of the police department. What we have is the Lake Wales Sheriff Substation of Polk County and um, the deputies and even the lieutenants have told me to stop calling that I am wasting their time and that was before I discovered the invisibility stuff that's when I was simply complaining about the fact that my neighbor uh, uses signal jammers and is blatantly interfering with my security system pointing lasers to knock out the system uh, blurring and pixelating the videos so that they can't be identified as they vandalize uh, and even to the point to where when I have video of my neighbors threatening me I'm told that I am impeding their free speech or uh, a video of my neighbor tearing up survey markers and trespassing, and I'm told that trespassing is not actually a crime. The only reason there even is a word trespassing is because it is for the crime. So, and as I've said before, this cloaking technology, if that is what it is, I mean, it's what it looks like to me because I'm standing right here. I see things in front of me, uh, basically, I don't want to say floating, but there's nothing visible attached. Well, there's some visible stuff attached. This person is letting us see a lot more than they normally do. I don't know why. I don't know if they're, they want to be caught or they're daring us to catch them, probably. Ah, uh, <laughs> good. Thank you. Keep going. Um... I lost my train of thought. I'm so sorry. Anyway, if it is cloaking technology, where did it come from? Because I do not know. I know the whole world is in a rush for it, and that's scary enough. I know that the military certainly has worked actively on developing it worldwide, not just the United States. So, if it's military technology, how where and who did they get it from? To which I've contacted several agencies.
and it is remarkable that tonight the neighbor behind me has on an outdoor normal light when normally he is rocking so much hardware on that fence to interfere with my security systems that uh, I mean it's like literally insane and he also says he used to be a pilot with special ops so maybe who knows it's hard to say never underestimate people oh but I wouldn't give these people too much credit either because what they're doing is bad, it's wrong, it's mean, it's unnecessary, it's uh, immature, it's just a bunch of little, I don't know, I can't say babies, babies are innocent. They are people who never matured, uh, apparently they stayed in an adolescent state, uh, and uh, and they have big expensive toys and by the way who's financing them because most of us here are lower income living in pretty much glorified trailers so I don't know anybody who can afford this stuff certainly not me or my family